Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. I'm gonna try loading this other micro SD card. I loaded the Open Elec BMC distribution on this one, and I haven't run it yet, so all I have to do is plug this into the SD slot. There, it clicked. So let's just see what it does. So this is a fresh install, it hasn't been run. I'll turn on the power and we'll just watch what happens here. Since the Raspberry Pi runs off the uh, USB power over here, the only way I have of uh, restarting it is to turn the TV off and then back on. When I loaded the RAS BMC, what I had to do, okay, that looks like it's working. What I had to do there was plug it into the TV HDMI input, but it looks like this might be doing the right thing. So this is real time. I just plugged it in, turned it on, and there we go. So it's already picked up the uh, HDMI control. That is pretty easy. <laughs> you know, and let's see. So here's the TV remote again. And it works just like... Okay, I'll do English next. Okay, I guess it's got a different host name. Uh, wired Ethernet. And yeah, I'll turn on... Uh, SSH, you can log in secure shell for remote access. Okay, next. So I guess that's it. It's up and running. I'll set the... I need to enable live TV. Okay, so I use DVB link from dvblogic.com and that's my PVR personal video recorder I think is what that stands for and I need to configure it and I have to go to my server address and so the nice thing is the remote works here so I just do one nine two one six eight one down okay and then one nine nine is my server address and then I'll go over here and say done and then I go here and say done and then I say okay and then enable that's all I need to do to enable live TV so I'm pulling all the program guide, EPG, you can see there, electronic program guide. I'm pulling that over from the DVB link server. Since all my clients, which this will be one, need to have that same IP address. So you've got to set that as a static address. You can't use DHCP on that one machine but here we go it's loading okay I've got so I've got that enabled and let's see if live TV works so we will go to channels there's my channel guide And I'm just using the regular TV remote here. It's not a special remote. I can go right there. And there you go. When you're a little fellow, you can usually tolerate a fair amount of affection from your parents. Just to show you how it's hooked up here, this is my media center. And here's my hand for a comparison. I could hide the whole media PC in my hand. 
I've got a Ethernet, 100 megabit per second Ethernet hooked into my Ethernet switch. I've got a little uh, USB wireless keyboard dongle plugged in, and then I've got a HDMI cable that plugs into my AV receiver, and then I have a little USB micro B connector plugged into the TV. The HDMI plugs into the AV receiver, and I go into the satellite satellite input, and you can see the Raspberry Pi is outputting linear PCM audio through the HDMI cable, so I have the the AV receiver is stripping the audio off and sending it to my surround sound speakers and then it sends the video over to the TV. So the TV is displaying the video and then also I've got the TV supplying the power and we can just take a quick look at that. And I've got just the USB jack in the side of the TV and then here's a USB charger doctor or USB detector showing I'm getting 5.14 volts out of the TV and I'm using 240 milliamps so no problem powering the Raspberry Pi off the TV I know there's been some people say you can and some say you can't well, it looks like it's working okay I want to see then the one other thing here See it there, I've got the TV running in the background. I wanted to look at the system information, so I'll have to compare this. Memory, storage, okay, there's network, video, it's running 1920 by 1080. You've got the there's the hardware, so this, yeah, this is what I wanted to check. The open elect looks like it sticks to the nominal CPU speed, 700 megahertz. The uh, RAS BMC, you can run 700, 850, 900, and 950. They have like four different settings, so that's a little different my CPU usage is at a hundred percent there because I don't have the uh, MPEG-2 uh, codec yet and I think live TV is is MPEG-2 so you can see I'm basically pegging the CPU decoding a, a live TV stream so I'm waiting for my license key to arrive might be a day or two so, uh, but that was a live startup from scratch of open, open elect.